congrats on the Vegas show. I know yeah. a lot of artists, um, me included, we just love performing and we were all just, we had to stop for like a year or two, right? No. So it's, how is it to back, to be back at it? It's I awesome. thought it would be different, but I mean, it was like it, these 18 months just disappeared and we were back on the stage and it looked, it felt pretty much the same as usual. There was one extra element on these last couple of shows that we did that I had never felt before. It felt, yeah, they were applauding. Yeah, we were all having a good time, but there was something else. It felt like the audience was grateful to be in this room one. and not have to worry about all the crap that we've been dealing yeah. with. Yeah. They were laughing and singing and happy, and it felt like everybody was just very grateful. They were applauding uh, me, but yes. they were applauding themselves. The moment. For, right? The moment. No, we yeah. took it for granted. I, just, yeah. I literally was just having this conversation yesterday with someone, because I literally, I mean, shows started happening, and my friends, we have been to four, so <laughs> we're going to one next week. Like, I am... So I get drunk off the energy of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're, you, you're like, I missed it. I didn't know that I missed. I don't even really miss performing as much as I do watching and like being a part of the show in that way. That's, well, that's what it's I It's so thought. amazing. Yeah. And it's awesome to listen to music, but to feel it yes. and to be in a room filled with people that you would probably never find yourself in the same room with and in any other Plus circumstance. Plus not cool. having to worry about everything else that we've been worrying Escapism. about for 18 months. Yeah. It, it just disappeared for yeah. 90 minutes and yeah. I was grateful I could do it, but it really, they were grateful, I was grateful. It was a yeah. great couple of nights. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah. Oh, I love seeing shows. Um, well, you've also um, you, you've also got your own musical, right? I think that's amazing, and I yes. it's got to sound incredible. You're such a great pianist and musician and writer. Yeah, this is this is my this is the biggest and the most important thing to me right wow. now. It's a, a musical called Harmony, and it opens in New York yes. down at the Yiddish Theater, and we we'll, yes. we'll hope it goes from there to to, to Broadway. It's called Harmony, and uh, it opens in uh, a, uh, April. Uh, of this coming year, and wow. previews start uh, before that, and you should check this one out. It's a real good one. Well, they, it takes a while for all these projects to develop, so how long have you been working on this? 20 years. 20 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but it's worth it. Oh, but my you gosh. You really need to check this one out. Oh, that's amazing. So what's the harmony? What is it about? Like, what's the gist? It's about a singing group that was very, very big in the 1920s in Germany, uh, a few of them were Jews and a few of them were not. And their story, the reason we don't know who they are, they were called the comedian harmonists. Very talented, very talented, tremendously popular. And we don't know about them because they, everything they did was destroyed because- No, so this is based off something real. A real story. Oh, I didn't get that. It was a real, it's a real story and it's wow. very compelling. And I'm very proud of the score and uh, my, partner Bruce Sussman wrote the uh, lyrics and the book and it's really deep and funny because they were funny but yeah. it's you really should check this one out wow I can't wait to see that that was a great sell by the way I'm like <laughs> like wow I'm gonna get you to sell my stuff like, that was, I'm in yeah. I, I love and that's the thing too like New York's starting to come back I miss shows so much we opened the, this whole show in New York this this year and it was rough oh it's man rough. but it's you it's such a city that feels ghost-like without Theater, you know, Bruce, you know, Bruce told me when we were in the middle of it, Times Square was empty. It's so all the, the streets that had the, the theaters on it, empty, like you know, newspapers just floating around, like some something out of a science. Like a movie, movie. yeah. Yeah, you know, it was yeah. Rough, it was rough. Oh, um, well, you have new fans on TikTok as well, which I love um, because this lip sync video of Mandy went viral. Oh. Here it is. You've got to see it. Did you see it? Did you see <laughs> it? <this? laughs> Well, I was surprised. I wonder, how did he find Mandy to lip sync to? I, He's so young. Dude, Spotify is a beautiful thing. I feel like we find things like on all these streaming services now. Like even my kids are starting to listen to me. They're like, oh, I love this new song. I'm like, that I know. That's like from the 80s. <laughs> You, I was should, like, you should show them Cobra Cabana. I know, they I know, love Cobra I know Cabana, I'm just right? saying they find right. this music and they think it's new, yeah. yeah I wonder why, why yeah. I, I, I wonder how he found... The backstory, we need the backstory. Um, right. Well, the video inspired thousands of responses like this one. <laughs> <laughs> and and this one. <laughs> See a memory I never realized how happy you made me, oh man. Well, you came and you gave, well, I 
have you heard from that kid? Have you heard who made the first oh, video? No, I no. I oh my God, no. it's so great and it's so random, which is the most amazing part in the reactions. Anyway, well, we reached out to him and he's actually in our audience. So oh. say hello to William White. Oh. <laughs> there he is. What's he's in the middle screen? Yeah. Oh my God, well, meet Barry Manilow. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Barry. Hi. How, how did you find the song? Yeah, it, it was my dad. He showed me. He's a huge fan, so he's pretty jealous that I'm on here right now. But <laughs> him and his buddies love it. So we go for walks, and he showed me. Uh, he showed me some old music, and then I found uh, Mandy, and I was like, "Oh, this is like perfect for the ladies. Like it's a heartthrob music." And I was like, "All right." So I. Uh, I went home and after work, I, I was landscaping and uh, went home and started making Mandy videos. And from there, it just blew up like over over like one weekend. I had like 1.8 million followers. It's amazing. Talk about getting laid from music. You're, I know, I'm really, just saying, that song was Some, <laughs> some longevity with that song. <laughs>